Hi everyone and welcome back to my series on how to make an action RPG in Godot 4. In this episode, we will look at how we can stack items in our inventory. And now let's get started. Currently, all our new collected items are inserted into their own slot in our inventory. But in some cases, it will be useful if we can stack these items and carry more things. We will start by changing our inventory model. The first thing we need is a place to store how many of each item is in the player's inventory. There is a few ways we can do this, but in this tutorial we will solve this by creating a new resource called inventory slot. This resource has two exported variables. First, an inventory item, and next, an amount variable to store the number of items of this type stored in this slot. But now you might ask, why not just add a variable to store the amount directly in the inventory item? You need to remember that resources are only loaded once. And imagine if we had two life parts in our world. These will reference the same inventory item resource. Now, if our player isn't the only one picking up items, if, for instance, another player or an NPC was also picking up items and adding them to their own inventory, then we would very fast get a very buggy system where everyone got a new item no matter who picked it up. So, yeah, not really that good in this case. Okay, now let's go to our inventory script. Here we need to change our items array to hold inventory slots instead of items. I'm also changing the array's name to slots instead of items. When we insert a new item, we then set the slots item to the new item. Finally, we open the player inventory resource and make sure it has 15 slots. We also need to update the slot GUI. The input to the update function should now be inventory slot and the texture is then grabbed from the slots item. And in the inventory GUI script, we update the script to use the slots array. Okay, let's test to make sure everything is still working. And everything looks fine, so let's stack those items. In the inventory script, we first start by setting the amount to 1 when we insert a new item. To stack items, we then need to check if the item to be inserted already exists in one of the slots. We do this using a for each loop in the beginning of the insert function. Here, we check if the item is in one of the slots. If it is, we increase the amount and then we return from the function. I also change the break to a return in the loop we already made earlier to make the two more consistent. We also need to emit the updated signal before each return. To test that this now works, we insert breakpoints on the two lines with the return statements and run the game. Now we can look in the slots array to see if it is updating correctly. The code we just made works fine. 
But if you want to try something different, we can also use the erase filter function using lambda functions. I won't explain this further here, but just show it to you as a topic you might want to explore further on your own. I've left links in the description to places in the documentation where you can read more. Okay, now it's time to update the GUI. So let's go to the slot GUI scene. First, we need to add a label to the panel in the center container to display the number of items in the stack. To test how it looks, we set the text to be 99 at first. Now let's change the font of the text. In the Ninja Adventure asset pack we're using, there's also a font if we go to the hot folder and then font. We will be using the one with the TTF ending. So click and drag this into your project and put it in your art folder. Then select the label and find the theme overrides properties. Go to fonts and click and drag our new font into the font property here. I also set the font size to 8 and under colors I enable font color and set it to white. And I also enable the shadow color. Now let's resize the label and set the min size accordingly. Finally, I move the text a bit to make sure it's contained within the slot. Okay, let's test by running the game. Pick up an item and look in the inventory. We haven't updated the label with the correct amount yet, but we can use this to see how the text will look on top of an item. Finally, we need to update the label from the slot GUI script. First, we add an already variable for the label. Then, in the update function, we first set label.visible to false when there is no item. And if there is an item, we show the label and set the label text to show the item amount. Now let's test again and enjoy those stacking items. Okay, the stacking now works, but um, I don't really like that the text is at the center when there's just one digit. However, this is easy to fix. With the label selected, we locate the horizontal alignment and set it to right. This looks much better, I think. Now, as something new, for this episode, I'm giving you all two small assignments. Try to find a solution before asking for help. Okay, number one. Can you make it so the amount is only shown if there is more than one item in a stack? And number two. If we add a max amount variable to our inventory item resource, Can you make it so a stack is limited by this amount and then a new stack is created if all others are full? And that is all for this episode. This was also the last episode on inventory, at least for now. Next time we will start to look at combat. But please note that I also plan to start making videos outside this series soon. So combat won't necessarily be in the next video I make, but I promise you it is coming and I'm working on it. Bye!